This continues today with a focus on farming. To mark June Dairy Month, Jeff Alexander visiting a farm each week to share that farm's unique story. Tonight in small towns, Jeff takes us to a sixth generation farm just outside of Wapaka. Little Aiden Nelson is getting his introduction to life on a dairy farm. And if he's like his mom Zoe, Grandpa Ron, and those before them, well, it's a career he might not initially find that appealing. I did not want to be a farmer when I was growing up. <laughs> I think any farm kid will tell you the same thing. You grow up and you are working on the weekends and waking up at 3 a.m. when all of your friends are out having fun and partying and you're here working. Um, but I owe, I think, my entire work ethic and character and who I am as a person to being a farm kid. The last thing I wanted to be was a farmer. I knew the, the work, the hours. Um, I went to school the same career path as Zoe. I was going to be a large animal vet, though and kind of came to the conclusion that I would rather take care of my own healthy animals than everybody else's sick ones. Founded by his great-great-grandfather in 1855, Ron became the fifth generation on Brooks Farms in 1982, when the farm milked around 120 cows. In 2015, after graduating from UW-Madison and serving a year as Alice in Dairyland, daughter Zoe joined the family farm. I was immersed a lot more in the dairy culture at Madison and all the courses that I was taking there and the people as well that I was meeting throughout the state um, that were farm kids as well and I really realized the opportunity that I had back home was so unique and not everyone has that. With Zoe on board the family decided it was time to expand the herd which is now 700. They also made major upgrades with new freestall barns and a milking parlor which they designed. And people ask us, you know, how do you design something like this? And all I can tell them is, I got 50 years of what I know doesn't work. <laughs> so will all of this work? Some of it's cutting edge, some of it's brand new. We tried a lot of new things. Um, no, but if you get 51% of it right, you're considered a genius. So. <laughs> On the farm, Zoe oversees all the cows, while Ron is in charge of the crops. Both admit there are challenges sometimes, but the lifestyle is gratifying. No day is the same. It keeps you on your toes, um, but I think it's such a fun career because no day is the same, and you actually see you know, the fruits of your labor. What you put into it, what you get out of it, um, is a very rewarding career. Which is why Zoe is proud to serve as a role model for other young women. There is room for everybody in this industry. It's not like it was 50 years ago. I always use the example of manual labor. Um, I'm never going to be as strong as my male counterparts, or as beefy and burly as them. Um, I have to learn how to work smarter, not harder, in a lot of situations. But the industry has evolved and innovated so much that it really has diversified the option for many people to be able to get into it. With 10 grandkids, Ron is hopeful the seventh generation on Brooks Farms is waiting in the wings but there will never be any pressure. Nobody's gonna hold a gun to your head and tell you you have to be a farmer. Nobody did for her, nobody did for me, nobody did for my father. My father uh, went to college and he was not gonna be a farmer either, so. In other words, time will tell, but the odds looking pretty good. I am the luckiest dairy farmer, if not in the state, if possibly the nation. All my grandkids live within a five mile radius of the farm. My grandkids are all here all the time which is really, really, it's just, that's as good as it gets. And one of the reasons the farm continues to build such a special legacy. I get to work with my grandpa, my dad, and my son is here with me on the farm almost every day. So there are four generations here that are working alongside of each other, and those are memories that um, I'll cherish forever because not everyone has that. In Wapaka with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. Strange way of hooking you into the business. No <laughs> doubt about it. It always brings you back home, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> Makes you feel good. I love it.